Today we are going to use our fraction material and it's going to help us explore quantities less than one. So let me show you something. I have here a unit bead and guess what? This circle is also a unit. It's almost as if I've squished this one flat to create a unit. So this is one unit. Here I have another unit, but it's made up of two congruent pieces. They're exactly the same. So we have another unit made up of two pieces. And look, look at my all my fractions here. All of them are units made up of pieces that are exactly the same. When we talk about fractions, we're talking about pieces of a unit. Fraction comes from a Latin word, fragere, which means to break apart. And it's like we have a unit broken into uh, pieces that are all the, exactly the same. So this fraction has, this fraction unit has two pieces. And we call these fractions halves. This fraction has three pieces. We call this, uh, this set of fractions thirds. Here we have a unit that has four pieces. This is fourths. Our unit here has five pieces, so this is fifths. Here we have a unit with six equal pieces. That's sixths. This unit has seven equal pieces, so these are sevenths. Here we have eight equal pieces, so they are eighths. Nine equal pieces gives us ninths. And then our last unit has 10 equal pieces, so it's called tenths. Have you noticed something? Have you noticed how the name of these different fractions helps you to know how many pieces there are? In the fifths, there's five pieces. In the sevenths, there's seven pieces. I wonder if I mixed up all these tickets, if you could place them where they belong.